great folk. Climb me slowly up Big Nolla Coombe. <sighs> Beautiful, isn't it? I've already spotted deer, by the way. There might be some on that side, but there's definitely some there. I'm just going to zoom in. <sighs> Look. There's some deer. They know I'm here. All their ears are perked up. I've taken a picture. It looks like a young one there. They're all sunbathing. They're all sunbathing. Like I said, I've just taken a picture of them all up there, look. Now look at that one looking at me, see? I can't zoom in anymore. I mean, basically, I can't wait to get an, the, another camera where I can really get in cl much closer than this. So they're right up on the hill there. And quite often they're on this side as well. At least I've seen them. They've greeted me on my way up. And if my sister Jude had been an animal, I always thought she'd be a deer. Tell the truth. Now the other thing we've got to look out for this time of year now. Quantocks are renowned for it, right? Ticks. If I get a tick bite, if I get any bites today, it will be a tick bite and it'll be from the Quantocks. Lovely view down there though, look. Exmoor over there, Dunkery Beacon and all that. All the area I started to explore in my 60s. We used to drive through it when the kids were small. <sighs> See, look, there, look at that. That could have been one already. Look. I just killed one. <sighs> I got a really bad attack of limes last time I came out here. Now I'm keeping on wide tracks. <sighs> they often hang in bushes and they fly in the wind. Now I caught that one. Squashed it. They crawl under your sleeves, you see. I've got to tuck my socks in, actually. The next stop, tuck your socks in, chill. Might be time to put a bit of sun protection on as well. I've got it in my bag. I carry everything in my bag. I've got a first aid kit. A big, lots of food. Not enough water, probably. But because it's March, I've, uh, I have got three bottles. Two bottles of water and a bottle of blackcurrant which will be kept to the end of, near the end of the walk as a glucose boost but soon I will have to carry three bottles of water very soon now I've rolled up my coat I've still got a winter jumper on not a thick hairy bare one but um Yeah, let's just zoom in. But I've folded up my coat and strapped it to my rucksack. There's one there, look. Of course, it's the hunting season as well, you know. They all look like does, don't they? Can't see any of them with antlers. They all look like does, poking their little heads up, look. They're listening to me. I've got a very, I've got one of those voices that carries. They say, there's Sheila. Where are you, Joey's? And come up and see you. I'll take some more pictures in a minute.
my knee, as long as I don't twist it, could actually improve with a bit of a walk. Could do. It's not through old age, I've told people this. I fell off a chair but put my nets up. Not my nets, my curtains three years ago. And uh, I banged my knee quite heavily on when I landed. I've since had a couple of other slips and my leg's gone back, back behind me in an awkward angle. So it has been in the wars a bit, this particular knee. I've always got to remember not to jump and land on anything. That sparks it off, and I think I've done that recently. Also, climbing down steep steps. Jolt, jolt, jolt. It don't like that. Not many out today. I go out in the week on purpose. So you don't have tribes of people about. I'm just going to sue me in one more time to my friends. Then I'll take some more photos. See, so right into that tree there, so quite a big deer stood. There they are. And then if I go over, I'll see some more in a minute. You can often see their ears just poking up. There's one. They look a bit like kangaroos as well, don't they? Hello, dearies! Hello! Right, over now. Right, folks. Right over there on the side of the hill, there's some um, the deer I saw earlier. It's quite a big herd. I only saw the ones by those trees when I was coming up Big Nola Coombe. They're still, they can hear me now, even now. They're still watching me, their ears are twitching. Big herd, and also on this side, two big herds further down. Somebody coming. That's um, Beacon Hill, could be. Might not be. Right, I'm just doing a little bit of exploring on this side, really. Not far from Bicknoller. Bicknoller's down there. I thought there's no real great reason for me to go to Holford, really, today. I don't necessarily have to. I can do some exploring on this side. Seems like my knee's not too happy. I don't have to think I've got to do a great big hike over to Holford and everything. I can just explore around here a bit. Look at this beautiful Somerset countryside. Mine head is right over there. Watch it. I can just see Dunkery Beacon in the mist. And this is this is Somerset everyone. I just thought I might just do a bit of gentle exploring. I might just go down Weakham Valley today. Actually, I'm not even bother with Holford on this occasion. I don't always have to feel. I mean, I do love Holford, but don't get me wrong. Sitting on the bench having me picnic. There's something about some hills around here. I should have studied the map again last night, tell the truth. Oh, goodness, look at those little lammies. They just zoom in. Some little tiny, tiny lammies, look at them. Oh, look at that one there, and he's weeny. And that one. Hello. Hello, sweeties. Oh, and there's some more. Spring lambs. So it must be around about 24th today. It's one of uh, a type of nephew of mine's birthday today, Aaron. He's, um, 
I think he was born in sort of... What year was he born? 80, I think. Aaron Jumper. Yeah, I think he was born in 1980. He'd be 42. I can't believe it. He was a premature baby when they were quite rare in those days. He was tiny, like a bag of sugar. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm not here to frighten you. Believe me, I'm not. What a lovely, lovely greeting from you all. <sighs> lovely greeting. So I'm going over here. I just want to take some more pictures. Hold on a minute.